Is it taking an air? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, that's strange. We're going to move forward. Okay. Because it's calibrated fine and it's working fine. It's, uh, you know, the inhale is inhaling and the exhale is exhaling. Okay. Here, so. the, the problem you never know is uh, what's the ambient pressure, you know, things can, what's your elevation, things like that. And so doing a one liter calibration tells you this system is handling one liter as it's supposed to handle one liter. Right. We don't know that now, but we're still able to collect data. It, it did. It actually calibrated oh. to one liter. Did it? Yeah. Oh, it just, it, it just it, didn't show that. It was, okay. Yeah, it calibrated to one How liter. How did you that know was, that it did? It, it says it. It says, uh, Where did it, it say? says one liter is measured so as the screen, one. So the screen came up and said yeah, it? Yeah, it says okay. 1.0182 oh, okay. or something like that. So anything in the 1.0 one. One something right. was calibrated. Okay. Okay, so as I said before, protocols are your friends. This is a screen. It, it defaults to the screen that has everything. So you've got pitch, sound pressure, airflow, air pressure. Um, the only thing they're really interested in is flow and pressure. Okay. If they were doing something clinical, they'd be interested in the frequency and the intensity. But because we're really only demonstrating the aerodynamic components, those last two screens are the only ones they're really interested in. Okay. So we can do, uh, you know, you can do a protocol for air pressure. We go to air pressure, new live input, it'll change the screen. It says the client is instructed to tightly seal the lips around both the internal tube and the leak and a leak tube inserted in the corner of the mouth. And then generate a little plastic pressure. thing that goes in the mouth. Okay. Uh, holding the pressure for at least five seconds. Click OK to start capturing data. So you want them in place. Okay. Space bar to stop data collection. Sorry about that. Yeah, I thought, okay, so no, the, the red button here was uh, start record and the space bar is stop. Okay. So this takes you through exactly what you're looking at here. So green reference lines is displayed at the air pressure level of five centimeters. And you can change that up and down if you want. I'll show you. We're going to say okay to that. Um, so again, here is record. If you just move your mouse over it, mm -hmm. that's speak all. Speak selected, speak for mouse. So, speak all. The reason you do the P, 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 P is because that mimics what vocal folds are doing. Uh, there's a direct correlation between the interaural pressure behind the lips on plosives and what the subglottic would be for the vocal folds. <laughs> so, we can choose here, the, these buttons are the other ones you use, is compute display new st PAS results, display previous, or display raw numerical values. You're not going to use the numerical values as much. It's like every millisecond. Okay. Am I correct? The PAS they came out with the normal data, and do we have it or don't we? Uh, I thought the Boston. That place. is, yeah. That that sh I, that should be coming. Uh, uh, can you send me an email? Yeah. Send me an email. Just say you want it, and I would send it to you. Great. Um, as with the CSL, mm -hmm. uh, it'll generate a table comparing yeah, the, uh, the norms with your And this inputs. one does it as well? It doesn't now. We oh, don't have the data installed, but Ben is suggesting the data are We have a available. booklet. Yeah. Oh, booklet rather than... Uh, yeah, it's, it's a booklet right now. Okay. Um, you have to use a hard copy. Never mind. Is it in... No, okay. not yet. No. Oh, not yet. Yeah, it just came out. Um, what was the other one? So you did... Pressure. Can, can you Maybe give flow. us the data? Can you uh, show um, us whatever the numerics are, whether we have the data? Or not? Yeah, let me. Um, okay. Let me just kind of show you something real quick. So we're just going to go back to this and do PA. Well, one thing I didn't do is you have to set a threshold. So basically, you have to tell the computer this is what I'm looking for data. So it'll it'll tell us how to do that here in a second. So this is going to co collect all the data. Okay, so this is sound pressure, air pressure. We can select, so if there's a big 
area at the beginning that there's no data being collected, you don't want that, and mm -hmm. it's going to screw with the statistics. Or you can do an automatic. You can select the threshold, or you can do an automatic threshold. So the way to do that, I recommend doing an automatic threshold. Okay. It'll be your easiest way of doing things. So I press this. You'll see these blue lines come up. So that's where it's collecting. And you what can did you press again? I just hit the T, which is threshold, apply automatic threshold. So what it's doing now is it's where it's going to take the statistical results from is only here, not any of this kind of, oh, okay. you know, before and after data. So we can go here now to display new results and it'll collect that. So you'll have the raw data. At this point, what you have to do is go to existing tables that are in various texts that show what norms are for adult males, females, right. etc. K has generated a normative database that Ben's going to supply us. Okay. It, it's one of those things where we, ha we have it in book format now, but there, you know, it's all this legal red tape to get it oh. into our software. Not legal red tape. I, I just say you it know, just hasn't happened. It yet. hasn't happened yet. Yeah, we got to. Okay. Once we update everything, it's right. hopefully it will be in the next okay. the next software update, which will be sent to you, or I'll come by and install it when it gets here. Okay, great. Um, so I know Joe all... Stemple was doing an aerodynamic workshop for K. Yeah. Uh, is it basically guess... the PAS system he's going through? I believe so. Okay. I think that ha did that happen? Did it happen? I think I so. Do. I thought it was an October date, but I didn't know what it was. Oh, you're right. Yeah, it's October date, and it's it's just an aerodynamic workshop at right. Cape Yeah, okay. you're right. Um, so under these protocols here, you're, I'm not going to go through these. This is something you're going to have to read up on a little bit in, in the manual, but user-defined protocols. So you can uh, create those. So you can say user protocol one, new live input, and then collect the data, and then say this is what I want, you know, I want to do voicing efficiency on this one, and then it'll turn into a voicing efficiency. So uh, I would stay away from that one. My view is that for our purposes, you're demonstrating just all the data it right. can collect. If down the road we get folks who are wanting specific things, we can spend some more time. But right. this is a basic introduction yep. to the system. Right. So for, for your purposes, go to protocols. And I would play with all these protocols. The ones that you're, it sounds like you're going to be using. Are Each protocol gives you the set of directions. Right. Okay. And they'll go through those for you. Okay. The buttons you're going to need to know, know here are record, play, speak selected, speak for mouse. So if I hit the speak for mouse, I don't know if you're here for that. Yeah, it'll just so play wherever you click. <laughs> you like that, don't you, Ben? I do like that. <laughs> um, now, uh, yeah, I'm 